Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, I think that uh, uh, we are the baby here in these heavyweights that uh, we have seen until now. And, uh, but uh, it's, a, it's a different story that we'd like to share with you and uh, to learn. Right? And we are having this possibility to learn a lot in uh, this conference uh, along the, the last six years. First of all, I am delighted to share this point with so distinguished colleagues and uh, moderated by Professor Casada, and also I'm truly honored uh, with the, ki the kind invitation from the organizers to take part in this conference once more. Um, indeed, uh, Mayor Hancock, when he addressed in this morning regarding the new economy, airport cities are the core of any strategic, economic strategic that brings up growth sustainability in short, medium, and long term. But this is not a, a single matter. Transform reality is complex. It's not easy. Um, needs knowledge, needs determination. In emerging countries, even needs obsession, talking about implementation from national and subnational governments. Every case has a story. I'm gonna share with you the story of the rising of the aerotrops of Belo Horizonte, the airport city of Belo Horizonte. And I will try to summarize um, some facts occurred in the last 10 years, show some pictures, show some figures that uh, you can see the path that we've been taken in the last 10 years, where we came from, and what we stand for. In 2003, we came up with the vision to prepare to transform Minas Gerais in the best state to live and invest in Brazil, supported by three economic concepts. I would like that you could pay attention to the third pillar, this pillar, to be a competitive region in the new economy. The first decision to prepare Minas Gerais to be recognized in the next 20 years to be the state of advanced logistics in South American competition area. That you can see, uh, that takes from Minas, the south of Brazil, Uruguay, and Argentina. Uh, uh, in advance, we're supposed to have a hub, uh, a logistic hub for passage and freight that we could indeed compete to transform the state of Minas Gerais, mainly the metro region of Belo Horizonte, as um, the new hub of entry of pasture and freight in Brazil. This is challenging, but mandatory for our achievements. As you can see, in the southeast region of Brazil, the geography wasn't a stepmother for our capital. We are in the heart of the rural region, as you can see. Belo Horizonte is in the up of the triangle. You see here? Within the circle, roughly 60% lies 60% of the strength of Brazil, the economic strength of Brazil. A economy that will be present in 2020, a GDP of $3.4 trillion. 2020 is tomorrow. Now we just have eight years to have what role we're supposed to have until there. And 10 years go so fast. And 10 years ago, we never could imagine that Brazil will be in 2020 an economy of $3.5 trillion. This schematic view can show to you 
And just to point off our position of uh, in the metro region, uh, you see uh, Brazil, what's the size of Brazil, the economy, the state of Minas Gerais, a GDP of $200 billion, and Belo Horizonte, uh, that have 35% of the economy of the state of Minas Gerais. And how, if this is the key question, how we could at this moment uh, to have the development of uh, the metro region of Belo Horizonte with this airport here. A small airport, uh, 1.3 miles runway, no taxways, uh, that's how you can see. And, and uh, the only plan that uh, Infraero, the federal state-owned company that have at that time, is to expand this airport and not to move on to the what you call the ugly duck, the ugly duck, 13 miles north, that was our international airport. We just 400,000 passengers per year at that time. And this airport in 2003, three million passengers per year. And what we have to do? We have to roll up these leaves and make things happen. Taking the political decision, we start to have the guidelines, uh, the studies, uh, the economy strategy they have developed, the first project, and we are preparing to be recognized in 2015 as the best airport, not the biggest, but the best airport in Brazil, and the first aerotropolis in a pure concept, how we are developing just now. You can see the airport and all the consultants that uh, help us to do all the studies. And uh, John is with us since 2004 and did a real great job with us. And uh, we have uh, the support of agencies and consultancy firms that uh, tremendously help us uh, to, to discuss internally with the government and to talk with the population too. And you can see the macrostructural plan that you have. Uh, in the epicenter, you have Tancredo Neves International Airport. It's a plan for 2013. Uh, everything is in the place, and we start the implementation. For what? Until 2013, to create 14, 400,000 jobs and to make a new GDP of $135 billion of investment. And you can see the area of Bell Horizon, the beginning, uh, the area that we start to expropriate for the expansion of the airport, uh, the movement of uh, the new uh, training center of the Air Force Base, and the newest uh, Aerospace Capacitation and Technological Center uh, close to the airport. You can see all the roads around four entrances to the airport. We just started the implementation of all the roads né, around the airport. You can see here, sorry. You can see here a huge resort, golf course, and his investment from Portugal. The platform here, the multimodal platform of transport here, close to the airport. And all this was in the macrostructural plan that we have started to implement. This is the engine of all the plan, this is the master plan that was elaborated by Changi consultants from Singapore that uh, you can see the You can see here the Terminal 1 that we are retrofitting. The Terminal 1, we start the Terminal 2. We are just finished the detailed project of Terminal 2. And Terminal 3, that, that probably will be constructed by 2000, 2022. This is one picture of the Neves International Airport in 2005. 
This is a picture from now and preparing 2014. You can see the new facilities from Go Airlines is the biggest facility of uh, maintenance of Boeing aircrafts in South America. Uh, for the World Cup, we are constructing a temporary terminal uh, and all the investment for new aprons for the World Cup too. You can see Terminal 2. By the end of this year, we'll finish the detailed project. The consultants consortium is Temag, Concremat, and we expect that the bidding process will start during the first quarter, quarter of 2013. The industrial airport is a kind of free trade zone, and the first uh, land wheel will bid in the end of June 2012. This is the green line was uh, the first investment, the vein that we start all the investments, uh, goes, links downtown to the airport. Uh, we concluded this in 2008, it was an investment of $200,000 million. The green lines finished end here, and now we are just constructing uh, inside the airport, the new access. It's a, a, a state road that will uh, divide the site, uh, the, the final concept of the site, that we are doing this with the participation of the Federal Development Bank of Brazil. You can see here the mock-up of a uh, very important facility from the government is the administrative city. Uh, this is the mock-up. You can see here uh, the green line and here the first business district that were prepared. We just implemented the administrative city. 17,000 people is working there. We just moved to the administrative city. All the direct administration of the state of Minas Gerais is there. Right? is in the middle part, is the middle uh, road between the airport and downtown. And the state of Mineral, we have the semifinal uh, decision here. Please, you are all even that you will be very welcome in Brazil for the World Cup. And um, we hope if you do a, a good job, will be there uh, as a semifinalist. And we have a, a better job probably will be to Rio de Janeiro. My, my, so my, I a little scared if the semifinalist, if Brazil will be there, it will be with Argentina. Would be not easy to have here the, uh, in the Belo Horizonte Stadium. You can see what's happened now uh, with the uh, Pampulha Airport, downtown airport, né? now with one million passengers. When we moved here from the downtown airport to Tancredo Neves International Airport, and you can see the huge growth of the traffic just in 10 years. And we expect to be in 2014, 13 million passengers né? during the World Cup. This is another thing very, very important, is the development of um, the regional uh, network that today flies to the downtown airport. And we'll be with two million passengers, and we'll have the second runway in Tancredo Neves International Airport already ready. We'll move on to the international airport and to link the regional network to the national and to the international network. And you can see in the figures, uh, Tancredo Neves International Airport, uh, among the most important, the 10 most important airports in Brazil, uh, is number one. It's a huge increase uh, from 2003 to 2011. If you compare 2011 to 2012, we are in the second position, uh, just behind Viracopos. And we expect to be in 2020, roughly 21 million pastures. In Memphis, we have presented this. 
the creation of the Secretariat of Civil, uh, Civil Administration. And it was very important to push uh, the privatizations in Brazil regarding the, the, all the airports in Brazil. The announcement of the new, uh, the current role of Infraero and the first three concessions, that was Viracopos, uh, Guarulhos Airport in Sao Paulo, and the airport of Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. The, resu the results of the auction that you can see was amazing. For Guarulhos, $9 billion. Viracopos, $2.5 billion. And Brasilia, $2.8 billion as a premium uh, to operate the airports. It was amazing, these numbers. Nah? And the, the only explanation that we have is the strength of the market. But it is amazing, these numbers. Next steps, nah? to be confirmed. Belo Horizonte International Airport, the International Airport of Rio de Janeiro, and another airport located in the northeast or in the north area of the country. To emphasize, the regional aviation uh, is the, the uh, uh, Secretariat of uh, uh, Civil Aviation is pushing this, and the new role of Infraero, even as a minor partner of the new concessions. And to finish my presentation, and that is the jewel of the crown, is the new uh, Aerospace Training Technological Center. It's very important because the sectors that we have chosen for to push the economy is the aviation, the aeronautic, and aerospace and aeronautic activities, life and science, IT, electronic components, and this is an investment from the state or for the private companies. I'm going to show you in just three minutes a video that can show you. And the, the most important attraction, the attraction of our enterprise was the Embraer. The new engineer office of Embraer that developed the planes in Brazil are moving to this, to this uh, uh, new center.